Okay, on this one, this first round, we're all gonna go lefty infield in. So we'll be here, right? So I'm gonna be lefty infield in, boom, I'm gonna head to the bag, right? Whatever way you wanna turn, I'm gonna arrive, and it's just gonna be a ball drop. So the coach is gonna be just standing right here next to the bag, and he's gonna drop it at the exact spot where it's gonna bounce. So what you wanna do is you want your stride length to match that distance of the bounce, right? So you can bounce, so you can have that adjustability with your lead leg, right? So you're gonna get there, get set, look at the ball. Once you get set, he's gonna drop it, and you're gonna extend and pick through it. That's all we're gonna do. And then coaches, we're all gonna be on the back side of the bag, here, and then we're gonna just be a little off. Right, ready, go. Okay. One thing that's tough, right, as defensive positioning has changed and first basemen are playing farther and farther away from the bag, it's tougher to get into good posture at the bag. So when you get there, try to set yourself as low as possible, prepare for the worst and adjust to the best instead of arriving high. If this throw is coming from the second baseman, which way do you prefer to turn to the bag? Okay, what about you? Same? All right, so if we're gonna track that way, let's all turn that way, right, to open up so we can see that ball go through the infield. Okay, so we're gonna open, arrive, get set, go. Ready, go. Ran out of glove. Just blew your Achilles. Here, and then adjust to the bin. Yeah. Ready, go. Okay, so. Going to a forehand now. Okay, so you guys are gonna be a little bit further against the righty. Maybe a little bit further, here we go. Ready, go. Okay, so the drop is so tough, right? Cause the timing's weird, right? I'm trying to duplicate like the toughest throw to pick. And then when you bounce a ball, it's in the catch zone the least amount of time, right? When I toss the ball, it's in a catch zone for a longer period of time. So don't be discouraged if you miss these. It's meant to be tough. We're going forehand here. All right, ready, go. Okay. So stay at the bag, and all I'm gonna do is now the coach, so go ahead, Slater, you're gonna demonstrate. We're, gonna, we're not gonna leave the bag. So we're gonna start with backhands, right? So I'm gonna start from close and move farther away. Here we go, ready? There it is, all right? Go ahead, so we're gonna work them out and then we'll do the forehand side. Here we go. Reset. Nice. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go the touch and go. So. Shaw, go ahead, show us the touch and go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna do touch and go, and then the coach is just gonna either give you a short hop on the backhand side or the forehand side. All right, here we go. Eyes up. You gotta get ready to go, right? So what happens is, all right. Okay, so watch this, watch this, watch this really quick. I'm going and I'm tracking, I'm going and I'm tracking, right? If you gotta look down, man, you probably embarrass yourself with the problem at some point. So up, and I'm going, and then when, when you see this, that's like the load in the throw, then I get set. Yeah, try to go, sh like, don't extend them to the right or left. All right, here we go, go. Eyes up. There it is, it said, just catch it. All right, here we go. Eyes up. <laughs> Now we're just gonna go one bag, one at a time, and it's gonna be, we're gonna set up at four different angles and only one of us is gonna throw. All right, so get these other bags out of here. Okay, I'm gonna just say the name of the coach who's gonna throw it. All right, start on the cut right here, the corner. Get to the bag and right when you get there, I'm gonna say the name. All right, ready, go. Hobert, Hobert. <laughs> All right. Short ops. All right. Ready? Go.
Nick, Nick, Nick. Yes. All right, here we go. Go. Me. All right, so that's perfect. So the reason why I did that to Slater is that we have to be late to send our leg out, right? If we predetermine what angle we're gonna descend our leg out, then we're gonna be stuck, right? And so if it's right in this window, we're screwed. So what do you catch more, backhands or forehands short hops? What is your better catch rate when we do these drills? Backhands, 100% watching you. So if you get a 50-50 ball right in the middle, where should you strive? Yeah, so turn it into your strong side. You tr if you got a pie right here of 180 degrees, you wanna minimize the one that you miss. So if you're a good forehand guy, make the backhand only like 45% of the pie. Ready, go, Nick. Nice. Everybody back up, 10 feet. Ready, go, Holbert. Yes. Ready, go, Woody. Nice. Anytime you shorten the distance, it intensifies the decision, makes it way tougher. So it's not realistic, but the idea is now when we get in the live bullets, it should feel like it's slow. Like you have so much time. You know who it's coming from. You know where the bag is. The bag's not gonna move on you, right? So anytime we do some of this pick work, all I'm trying to do is create the mobility to be able to use the entire width of the bag, create the adjustability with our lead leg to both stride in different directions and at different distances, and then know which side is your strong side, is my backhand or my forehand. There you go. Okay. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to see more content like that.